For the second year in a row, the city of Chicago is canceling its traditional St. Patrick's Day celebrations. Once again, there will be no parades or dying of the Chicago River. Turning the river green had been a tradition since 1962. Health officials are also urging people not to congregate in bars and to avoid large gatherings as the threat of COVID continues. For those who choose to go out, officials ask that you wear a face mask and remember to social distance. Now, like Chicago, Chicago, many of Rockford St. Patrick's Day festivities won't take place this year. The Rock River, too, not going to be dyed, and the marching parade will not go on as planned. But just because things won't be as green doesn't mean you should feel blue. A driving parade will make its way around the Fort City Saturday afternoon. Decked out vehicles will take different routes to drive by as many families as possible. If you want to get behind the wheel, there's a $10 fee. St. Patty's Day organizers hope to host a bigger celebration sometime in September. Rockford Lutheran students stop traffic for a lesson in caring. They visited their neighbors in Fairhaven Christian Retirement Center right across Alpine from the school. Fairhaven hasn't had many guests in the last year because of COVID. More than 400 students changed that. There were so many kids, they surrounded the building. A choir performed, students delivered artwork and letters too. Well, I'm just kind of excited to see what they say, what they remember, what they really enjoyed from being a teenager, because we also asked them, like, what was your favorite music or what were your hobbies? So, like, really seeing what life was like for them then. Fairhaven staff tell us some residents are former teachers who especially enjoyed the visit. New at 10, Shark Tank plays host to a company with ties to Rockford. Lindsay Fleischauer and her dad Stan are the creators of Totes Baby's Car Seat Carrier. We introduced you to them earlier this week. Their invention holds a car seat safely in a grocery cart. The pair got offers from three sharks. In the end, though, they chose Lori Greiner. Do you have a deal? Woo! Yeah! Congratulations, you guys. Be awesome. My best this is a dream. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you, you guys are great. Woo! If you missed tonight's episode, it re airs tomorrow night at 7 right here on WTVO. There are a lot of people wooing at the end of that episode.